Let's do something different. And I decided to save a little time. That's why I already have this blue background. You can use any other color, but I think blue, light blue, dark blue will look better with this design. And also we will need to seal it with a top coat and you can use um, any top coat. It can be the one with a sticky layer or without. It's up to you. And depending what you're working with, if it's natural nails, then it's better to be sock off. If it's gel or acrylic, it's better to use gel top coat. While I'm sealing that, I will also explain what I will use now. We will need a white acrylic powder and we will also need white gel polish. Uh, for this design, it is better to use gel polish rather than gel. So it doesn't have to be necessarily bright white. You can use like natural white, but still it needs to be intense enough. And also we will need a dotting tool. It is better if you have a few options, like they can be larger, they can be smaller. So for this design, I think we will need something in between, like medium size of the dotting tool. And as we are doing art today, I forgot to wear gloves, but for this design, it is better to wear them. Okay, our top coat is cured. I'm using tech-free top coat, so I don't need to remove anything now. Once again, if you're using the top coat, which is tech-free, you don't need to do anything now. If you're using uh, a top coat with a sticky layer, then you need to remove it now. After that, we will take a white gel polish and apply it right on top of our color. And actually, it's fine if it will not cover it completely. But what's most important is the layer should be pretty thin. If you will apply too much, too thick, the result won't be as good. So make sure you're applying it thin. And here is the secret. You need to hold your brush really flat, like not with the angle, just flat and do not apply too much pressure, like really light touch. Then I'm taking a white powder and an empty tip. And oh my God, it's white on white, but I hope you still will be able to see it. I think this white is a little bit different. It's more bluish. And then without curing, I didn't cure anything yet. I'm showering this tip in a white powder. And it's, well, it's about the same when we are working with the dip systems, right? I think it looks the same. And actually, maybe you can use the dip powder for that. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. The one I'm using is regular white powder. Then you can do anything that you want on this tip. Now let's try to do 2018. Okay, so I just made two and now I need to clean the dotting tool with a regular napkin. You can also uh, clean it on yourself, but you need to wear gloves if you don't want to get allergy. Okay, now we do the zero and one. You know, one time I was showing, uh, well, like Christmas, New Year designs and I got the, like the number of the New Year wrong. So yeah, I'm just checking. Hopefully I will do it right this time. And now you see this eight, it's a little bit messed up and feel free to repeat it and fix it. Okay. And if you want um, these lines to be cleaner, then you can repeat it or actually when you do it in the real life if you ever tried you know to draw something on the snow i think it looks more realistic when it's a little bit messed up when you can see little snow in there and now we will cure it while it's curing i will show you different options that we can do and it just cannot necessarily be a winter design if you use different colors it can be actually footprints on the sand if you take a dark brown background and a light brown powder. So these are another options that I have. You can do human footprints, 
You can do some different animals or birds footprints. You can do a heart, again, 2018. So basically you can do anything, but I like this white look on the nail. It actually looks like a snow. I'm not sure if the camera is actually showing you that, but it really looks like something on the snow. And also you can try something else. I know snow angel, just any kind of letters and designs and patterns. So try it, it's really easy. I believe everyone can do it. And what's great about it is that you have enough time to actually do them. You don't need to hurry like you do with the same technique when you're working with acrylic. And our 2018 is ready. And if there are some sharp pieces of the powder, you can just carefully buff them off like this then clean it with a brush and we are good to go you can also use an ombre background if you want to have multiple colors underneath actually maybe you can use the deep powder for that i don't know i haven't tried it yet the one i'm using is regular white powder then you can do anything that you want on this tip. Now let's try to do 2018. Okay, so I just made two and now I need to clean the dotting tool with a regular napkin. You can also uh, clean it on yourself, but you need to wear gloves if you don't want to get allergy. Okay, now we do the zero and one. You know, one time I was showing, uh, well, like Christmas, New Year designs, and I got the, like, the number of the New Year wrong. So, yeah, I'm just checking. Hopefully, I will do it right this time. And now you see this eight, it's a little bit messed up, and feel free. Let's do something different, and I decided to save a little time. That's why I already have this blue background. You can use any other color but I think blue light blue dark blue will look better with this design and also we will need to seal it with a top coat and you can use um, any top coat it can be the one with a sticky layer or without it's up to you and depending what you're working with if it's natural nails then it's better to be sock off if it's gel or acrylic it's better to use gel top coat while i'm sealing that i will also explain what i will use now we will need a white acrylic powder and we will also need white gel polish uh, for this design it is better to use gel polish rather than gel so it doesn't have to be necessarily bright white you can cover it completely but what's most important is the layer should be pretty thin if you will apply it too much too thick the result won't be as good so make sure you're applying it thin and here is the secret you need to hold your brush really flat like not with the angle just flat and do not apply too much pressure like really light touch then i'm taking a white powder and an empty tip and oh my god it's white on white but i hope you still will be able to see it i think this white is a little bit different it's more bluish and then without curing i didn't cure anything yet i'm showering this tip in a white powder and it's, well, it's about the same when we are working with the dip systems, right? I think it looks the same. And I need to repeat it and fix it. Okay. And if you want um, these lines to be cleaner, then you can repeat it. Or actually, when you do it in the real life, if you ever try it, you know, to draw something on the snow, I think it looks more realistic when it's a little bit messed up, when you can see little snow in there and now we will cure it while it's curing i will show you different options that we can do and it is cannot necessarily be a winter design if you use different colors it can be actually footprints on the sand if you take a dark 
brown background and a light brown powder. So these are another options that I have. You can do human footprints. You can do some different animals or birds footprints. You can do a heart, again, 2018. So basically you can do anything, but I like this white look on the used like natural white, but still it needs to be intense enough. And also we will need a dotting tool. It is better if you have a few options, like they can be larger, they can be smaller. So for this design, I think we will need something in between, like medium size of the dotting tool. And as we are doing art today, I forgot to wear gloves, but for this design, it is better to wear them. Okay, our top coat is cured. I'm using tech-free top coat, so I don't need to remove anything now. Once again, if you're using the top coat, which is tech free, you don't need to do anything now. If you're using uh, a top coat with a sticky layer, then you need to remove it now. After that, we will take a white gel polish and apply it right on top of our color. And actually it's fine if it will not